But if something goes wrong, it's often the Royal National Lifeboat Institute who will be first on the scene. As one of the busiest stations in the channel, the crew in New Haven deals with everything from medical emergencies aboard vessels to stranded pleasure cruisers who've run out of power and need a tow back to harbour. It's easy to forget this fourth emergency service is made up almost entirely of highly dedicated volunteers, risking their own lives to help others. Great focus on what we're doing. There's nothing else that's going on in life at that moment in time. You're solely focused on the job that you've got to do and get there done. You're drilling into wonderful thing. Although not the first thing you'd associate with the water, the RNLI is called out to around 90 incidences of fire every year. In here is where the salvage pump is, which we can use to pump salt water up through fire hoses. And the remaining hydrants are up on the foredeck. So we have one, one hydrant here on the starboard side, and one other one in the same position on the port side, and another up on the foredeck. The New Haven team recently had to put its firefighting capabilities to the test when it was called out to help with a devastating emergency, when Eastbourne Pier caught fire. The call to the fire service came just after three o'clock this afternoon. The pier's traditional timber structure had allowed the fire, first spotted in wood panelling, to take hold quickly. The New Haven lifeboat was immediately scrambled. Was the buzz that goes around, what's the, what's the shout, what's the job? When we go, it was East Pompeii on fire, it automatically gets the hairs on the back of your neck going and uh, not sure really what you're going to find where there's going to be lots of people still trapped on the, on the pier. Fire crews were in attendance within minutes, but access was limited and vital seaborne firefighting was needed. As we approach around Beachy Head, we can see the, the fire coming over the cliffs and the smoke going off into the air. From that point, you're, you're never really sure how bad the pier is on fire. When we got there, it was, um, it was quite well alight. straight away and it was just absolutely engulfed in flames it was so so shocking so i run down here and the smoke is just going higher into the sky than i could have ever imagined we were just watching it slowly just take up the rest of the pier like losing all the little shops it's devastating to look at it we have to get in as, as close as we can listen to the careful instructions by the coxswain um, he'll get in as close as possible and um, we had our fire hoses ready. New Haven lifeboat joined the Eastbourne crew who were already at the scene and high pressured seawater was pumped directly onto the remaining structure in a desperate bid to stop it going up in flames. The problem we had was we had a falling tide and the area that was on fire was um, quite difficult for us to access because of the tide falling away all the time. Fearing they'd run aground, the decision was taken to fight the fire from the other side of the pier, where the water was deeper. But it was also downwind from the blaze. As we were going around the pier to try and get in position, there was lots of debris in the water, uh, lots of burnt timbers, um, there was also lots of ash and, and, and smoke flying. We don't really strictly have a fire fighting capability, we have a fire protection capacity. So it was then suggested we might do better if we had some firefighters on board us. The firefighters came on board with a, a much heavier duty pump than ours. It had a suction pipe that went over the side of the boat into the sea, and then they were able to pump that water straight out through their fire hoses up onto the pier. Luckily enough, there's a break in the pier where the deck then becomes concrete. So that obviously assisted preventing the spread of fire, but the, the structure above that is all timber. Um, so we made sure that we, we kept them as cool as possible to stop the fire spreading. I think if the fire had taken hold from that point, it probably would have spread to, until the end of the pier. Um, so it was quite a critical point at that, at that to, to make sure that was kept cool. After several hours, the fire was finally under control. 
holds so many memories. Yeah, the pianos, yeah. Here, from our childhood, we just remember going on it, using all the Even like yesterday, we were on it. It's the main part of eSport, and everybody comes here for the pit. Although a large section of it was lost, the majority of the pier remained intact thanks to the quick action of the firefighters and the RNLI crews from Eastbourne, Hastings and New Haven. I don't think we would have saved any of the rest of the pier, that was already well ablaze, but I think as a, as a combined emergency service response, it was, a, it was considered a, a big success.